Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. Finally met our first Fallen Empire. There might be another one over here. That's a bunch of dead space, as well as, say, over here or something like that. Um, but yeah, we were just really not in the position to be a neighbor to any of them. Would be fun to take one of these guys out. It would be very entertaining. Look at this rim world. Wouldn't this be a great thing to own? Very cool looking. Of course, we know, <laughs> we know that the Fallen Empires, they're probably packing somewhere at least 20,000 and probably more like 30 or 40,000 um, strength and some unique weapons that may just counter all the things. Um, I, I do need some more cash and I was gonna go and do a pass through everyone and I realized I don't have a whole lot of minerals so I actually have to wait until I get a few more. So, oh, see, now that's the actual amount of money they literally have. I'm gonna not drain them completely because that might cause it to fail. Oh no, they're not interested in giving anyway. So these guys are poor. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully everyone else has got some money. Because otherwise, I'm going to have a bit of a hard time here. Confirm. And another one over here. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't fail. And confirm. Yay, one went through. Oh, I think the other one might have auto-failed. But, our, our, we're not losing that much energy, and a bunch of things are about to stop being, um, like, the baseline colonies. So I think we'll be fine. A lot of colony ships are out and about doing things. Still waiting for these upgrades to finish. But they're coming along. Then we'll go clear the surface system. And we'll make sure we've got an ocean world colony ship. And we do. We actually have two on the go. And this is Continental. We have another Continental kicking around. Construction complete. Got Tomb World. Oh my god, if... What? Wait. What? That's right, I'm not doing the genetic engineering. I decided to save up points. I still have my one point. Some of my the quills en genetically engineered themselves to cope with the planet's environment. The changes have made they made to themselves are being passed on to their offspring. Their physical appearance is changing at an alarming rate. They start referring to themselves as the Quill Variatus. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is on Derricon. Derricon 3. Uh, which is something that I have personal control over? No. No, indeed I don't. Okay. Yeah, look at that. So this is a regular the quill. Here's a quill of the Variatis. They're resilient, very strong, and prefer arid. Holy shit, that's amazing. We don't have an arid preference guy yet. You are hotkeyed to five. Um, also, you will get a solar panel network. Then you are going to pop out a couple of colony ships. Look at this, arid world. Oh, um, and we've got so we've got at least two of them. They're also they're also. Um, Okay, no. Very strong and resilient. So they're great fighters. Hugely good fighters. So they have lost... Oh, there's more Variettas over here. So they lost Intelligent and Industrious. Which sucks. But that being said, having native Arid World people... Because we actually have a lot of Arid World. And we've been colonizing a fair amount of Arid World as well. Um, because it was fine. We were getting like 60%, 65%. But getting a few native ones of those would be quite good. Okay. I mean, obviously, you know, that's going to increase my cost if I build some more colony ships. But it's fine. Shuttlecraft on Kyrian's Crystal. Oh, this is probably one of our observation things. And it is. It's not this one. It's another one, which doesn't show up anymore because it's inside of a sector. Clandestine mission to the surface of Kyrian's Crystal. One of our shuttles is intercepted by a squadron of atmospheric fighters belonging to a lo local nation state. Basically, the XCOM people just got one of our UFOs. A lucky missile hit disabled the shuttle's engines and it crashed in a crash wilderness region. We need to act fast if you were to evacuate any survivors before the natives reach the crash site. All evidence of our presence must be removed. Rescue shuttle survivors. Okay. Colony established. So, complete. go to... And we need a science ship, and we do have a few. There we go, we'll get the level four guy, that seems good. Get out over there. And yeah, we have our observation post here, which I cannot set, apparently. And it's actually only set to passive observation. Hmm. Desert world tech, nice. We could also research tropical world, which I think I'm gonna do. We're gonna get all the worlds unlocked. All the worlds are these, except Europa. 
It's full of dumb people. Don't go there. Alright. Don't need this construct or this science ship. Constructors, you're idle here. Um, could you build these mining stations? Because that would be really awesome. Since we're a little bit poor on money. And someone else go and build some over there. Lovely. And that's all getting hooked up, which is good. That's a colony ship that's going to grab Zerk, which is also going to be excellent. Should allow us, I, I suspect, we'll combine all this just fine. How's my battle fleet? Upgrades are still coming, right? 40%. Good god. I mean, I'm spending a lot of time paused, that is true. But that is taking a long time. Well, let's tell everyone else to jump in there, and that's going to be okay. Honestly, I mean, I don't need the upgraded fleet right now to go and clear out the system. Yeah, it's not a rush. It's annoying to me. No, the Corellarian League is fighting. Oh, 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 we're in a war. We are in a war. Okay, then we are indeed halting the upgrades. We are in a war. Again, the Corellarian League, our Federation leader has declared war. He want... He's going to liberate one planet, which is interesting. Still doesn't give anything to anyone else. Very rude. So that's the Corellarian League we're at war with. Since my people are unhappy when we're at war, we will prioritize taking care of this as quickly as possible. I will go to Sargus. And soon I will bring my land army here. This is not a terribly big army. I still have some financial issues, but I'm going to build a little bit more over here. That's going to be fine. We do have too many planets, but only by one right now, so I'm going to wait complete. a little bit longer. Construction complete. Are we losing 100 credits per turn right now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, um, that's a lot. All right, if anyone's still building a colony ship, please stop. We still need the um, continental ones, but we're going to wait on that. Uh, we have to go and, like, use them somewhere right now. Well, least we have an ocean world over here. Why does it only say 65%? Tidally locked and hazardous weather. That's pretty poor. And doesn't extend my borders, but I'm going to go and send someone here anyway. We do still have some worlds to settle over here, so I will go and do that. Oh, I don't have a Tundra ship kicking around. Okay. And then we can't colonize um, the Tropical yet. Can't colonize there. Um, and I don't have a Tundra, right? That's the one I can't do. Yeah. I don't have a Tundra kicking around. We have an Arid World right here. Arid. Arid. Only size 9. And we don't have one of our Arid ships yet. And we put that on hold. But it is actually quite nice that we will be able to do that. Okay, we've got a 65% ocean world over here, which we're going to use just to dump some of these ships idle. Good. And you're going to go and drop, I guess, here for more adjacency bonuses. I think we had one more ocean, didn't we? Dude, that's tiny. What's this over here? Oh, that's a slightly better one. Moving, moving, in orbit... But that's Dabax. So they want Continental. Moving, moving. Oh, we had a lot of these ocean guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of crap. Go here, that's going to be fine. 65% ocean world. 85% ocean world. So you were in orbit over here, so colonize. Here for more early food. Okay. All right, and a lot of these are going to be within sectors anyway. I mean, it's still going to cost us the money while the colonization is happening, but after that, it's going to end up pretty quick. So, listen, neighborinos, uh, it turns out I'm still way over my budget. I'm not building military ships right now, clearly. So these places... Um, could you make me some more money in here? That would be nice. 
Woof, you're costing me some dough. Listen, if you're still building anything, try to make stuff that's a little bit more money-centric, would you? Also here. Mostly we just need the ships to stop being out there, because right now we're spending... Um, actually, only 24 on colonization. It's most of the stations that are costing us a whole lot right now. But that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it soon enough. Alright, so the battle group is moving forward into enemy territory over here. We do have our army here. We're going to build a couple more units of robotic stuff. They do cost maintenance. But hey, what's an extra credit a month right now? Nothing. Right, so, neighbors. Colony established. Do any of you actually have energy credits? And I would like to give you... Many minerals for this. Thank you. Should keep going to you for now, maybe. Another colony was established. Um, oh! That's the other thing that's killing our thing. The minus 20% right now. Let's see. The new, um, the new sector up here. We're going to expand to there. I'm going to grab some extra territory around here as well, just to say. Alright, so now we're at... Oh, that was not even a fully grown one yet, so it doesn't count. Oh, and Zerk and all that, but I don't think we can reach here, can we? No. I think we'll have to wait up there. So, in the meantime, is there something else that I would want to put in? Yeah, down here, actually. Uh, I think I'll grow the Rob Bothnar sector. And add in that planet. And I'll actually give it this, so it's got a little bit more internal money and minerals for now. Doesn't really cost us anything. Uh, I will preemptively... Nice arid world over there. That's this, that, that, that new arid race is fantastic. We're going to put you in there for the future. Is there anything else I can put within a sector? Oshmir is not actually settled right now. What is this? The Dabax. But I don't think they've got... Oh, I do! Let's have you colonize over here, buddy. This looks like pretty good adjacency bonuses. Let's do that. And then I will... This does not going to help me right now, but I will put that planet in the Master Indy sector. Because that's going to be the plan. So yeah, we're still one over. And it's this sec these stuff over here that's going to cause the issue, and it's going to tick again. But, I mean, our, our money problems have improved a fair bit by getting rid of one of those planets. And these will get merged into a sector relatively soon. Uh, do we have enough for a station? We do. We're also going to go and colonize Sempris. And I just used all my ocean ships, which is not good. What was this one? Arid World, which will come later. They don't want to rush out of Frontier Outpost for here. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, let's fight. Oh, that's not a real hostile fleet. Research complete. Research on what? Armored torpedoes. Well, that's actually pretty helpful. Uh, plus five ship hull hull points. I think this is repeatable, though, and doesn't necessarily unlock anything new or exciting. M higher level mineral processing plants are nice. We really don't care about the mining networks. Uh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, we do, actually. Oh, the maintenance on those goes up quite a bit. The impulse thrusters are nice. It's a lot higher chance to evade just as a baseline for our ships. But I think the thing that makes sense, actually, will be to just do this. We are getting good minerals right now, but we can sp we can dump them super fast. I mean, we've just seen that just in terms of supporting our sectors, how quickly we can start dumping minerals. Let alone building up a giant army. Which we're going to want to do soon. Updated. Do we have an idle science ship? We do... Why don't you come over here and research that? Actually, what we can do before we engage... Oh, can I not actually find information about the Starbase? Ooh. Colony ship. I can find a few things about your tech level. But yeah, there's actually a big limit to what I can get tech-wise. So your job will be 
to actually orbit this planet. You're going to go there, but then you're going to still be on aggressive mode. Complete. Survivors rescued on the Quill Sovereignty. Okay, that crashed ship. We managed to uh, rescue those people. The remaining debris was destroyed in a controlled explosion, leaving nothing but a small crater for the natives to find. The nation state where this incident occurred will no doubt blame its neighbors for this border violation, but the disruption to their normal development should hopefully prove minimal. We actually gained society research from that. Hostile fleet engaged. Ooh, it's getting a little bit laggy here. Although, I just realized I am rendering some videos in the background, so that's not going to help. We're starting to get uh, somewhat bigger fleets here. And starting to get some of that late game slowdown. I've almost been playing for several hours, so we'll see how it goes. But, oh, and do we have a... No, we don't have any of our little carrier ships on this one yet. Trade trees are expiring. That's probably a research treaty. We're winning an offensive war right now, so our production rate's going to go down, which is fine. And we have started doing some bombardment over here, yeah? Yes, we have. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and embark all these guys and just get the fleet to enter orbit over here. And then we'll revisit you and do a landing. This should be a relatively short war. can't believe how aggressive our Federation is. War we did here. I'm happy we did that because imagine if we hadn't gone and taken these guys, we never would have been able to pop out of this area over this way. I mean, we still would have been able to trickle down here a little bit, but it's not really as potent of an expansion plan. And yeah, we could build an outpost over here. Well, at some point we'll be able to colonize that tropical world. In 13 months, potentially. We might still need an outpost here to merge that all up, though. I actually think that's very likely. Why don't I take this construction ship and build an outpost here? Actually, I like that plan a lot. A lot. Because there's no planets here. So actually grabbing all this territory is going to be a pain. But if I build one here, most likely uh, Adrenal will be able to be within my borders. And that's a good thing. So there's the enemy fleet over here. Uh, that's really not a fleet at all, actually. Oh, I should take this opportunity. Let's split this in half. To go over here and blow up this frontier outpost. Because, oh, then I could build a frontier outpost. Tropical world, desert world. I could potentially go and drop something there. I don't know if I have any colony ships right now. No, literally none. And right, that's a decent planet. I forgot about that too. Colony established. Colony established. So what are we running? Minus 20 right now, but we're actually not running a huge deficit. That's these colonies here. Evading hostile fleet. Let me find out if I can merge these guys up. What's this sector? Falcabas? It's possible that things have changed a little bit, and I can... Nope. I can't jump across that gap. Need the borders to get a little bit more touchy. A little more touchy-feely. If Galarum happens to fall within our borders, then it's going to be fine, because I'll be able to add that in, and I'm sure it can make the hop at that point. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? No, I was only supposed to send one back over here. What the shit? Not both. Oh, for crying out loud. Merge up. Transport fleet. Hostile there we go. Fleet engaged. At least you were able to get out of there without any losses. Jeez. And actually, hold on. How big is that? That was quite a big fleet, wasn't it? Uh, that's a lot more than I expected. A lot more than I expected. Hostile fleet engaged. This might not quite be the cakewalk that I, I thought. Although I do have some allies over here coming in. Okay, just hold tight a sec. Let's properly merge this fleet up. Okay, apparently it's still not going to happen. There we go. They were coming here, weren't they? Eh, maybe not. And yeah, I like the idea of blowing that up. I think that's going to be very good for us. Losing a little bit more dough again. Uh, so, let's go to our friendly neighborhood. Neighbors. For redundant redundancy. 
and see if we can't... We've got lots of minerals, again. If I'm busy doing something and I'm not, like, actively spending my minerals, then they add up really fast. Alright, so we're going to clear that out. Um, I think Situation what I'm going to do is... Updated. Start my support ships. So we'll get the snare. And that's it. Then I need to get the repair one. Oh, you don't have a level 6 space port. Oh, derp. Let's, let's get that going. And actually, we don't necessarily go to level 6 on Timic, but it would be nice to maybe build cruisers there, so we'll revisit that. Hostile fleet engaged. So after you've done that, you can go back to bombarding the planet. Okay. So that's where we're going to go. Go back over here. And, oh, they're rebuilding their starbase. All right. Well, that's pretty smart. Interesting, bold move with the construction ship here. So this is still within their borders, but this is no longer within their borders. Do I have an idle science ship? Of course I do. Come over here and survey the system. And I'm going to get a construction ship over here. Build a wormhole station. Yeah, my allies are like, well, we may as well scout this out. So I'm getting minus 20 right now. And it's entirely because of this. Let me start a new sector. I might be able to merge up the ones in the north. Colony I guess I'll start here, because it's got a couple more options about Colony how we might jump. Colony no, it's because it's not contiguous borders. Well, it's fine to have the sector there, though. I, that's going to be Situation okay. Log updated. You will, um, tell you what, you'll make me some money. And have, like, a billion credits to get started. Okay. New leader. Well, I mean, that does bring us down. Oh, it doesn't. Let's say at least it brings us down from the, uh, the colonies, but apparently it doesn't. Still gotta go and grab a Volt Pop. Now, I don't actually have any colony ships kicking around. Which is okay financially. We're gonna, we're gonna sit on that for a little bit, especially while we're in the war. Oops. So our battle group over here, we'll be able to take out that just fine. We're still getting chased by our allies, who have decided that they cannot do any independent um, operations. You're gonna enter orbit over here, and we'll bombard them. And then go and occupy that, and that'll be okay. This is not actually an enemy system. It's a weird graphical glitch. Situation when you're at war, sometimes it'll label things incorrectly for some reason. Don't know why that is. And what was this? Tropical Desert. So we got a few options. And uh, yeah, I should ninja that as much as quickly as I can. So let's go ahead and build a colony ship from our arid people. That's going to be fine. Not necessarily the best traits, but I want to get that started. It sounds like fun. Plus, my, my bigger um, systems are busy building bigger things. So, you're building the snare. So, you will build the repair. And then we'll build the actual war ones. How's the bombardment coming along? We've got a lot of ships in orbit. Nearly there. We have no general here, although we are full on leaders, so we actually can't get a general. How's our tech? Tropical world's coming in soon. Oh, we don't have a scientist here either. Um, probably because of elections. Okay, what kind of um, what kind of field is that? Computers. Okay, we don't have a computer one, so I'll just give you the field one. That's okay. Oop, there you are. And there we go. Let's attack. They're going to have a fair amount of stuff with their potential garrison armies, so some of those are going to become recruited. But these are pretty weak sauce. They do have five actual defenders, though, and I don't remember if I'm weak or anything. No, maybe not. Just have the minus 5%. Actually, plus 30. Wow. I'm not sure we're going to pull that off. Inactive buildings. What's wrong with you people? You're at war. Empire minus 20%? That's not this. Oh! Empire minus 
here. Right, so we're making less money. Yes, 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 yes. That is entirely known. And what is it? We have an inactive build. Oh, someone must have moved away. You don't have any Batharian. Oh, shit. We did overspend the Batharian. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, we'll upgrade what we've got anyway, since we're seeing this here. I'm sure we'll get some more Batharian. Yeah, there's something weird about, like, the Batharian display. Some, some of the replacements here must have done something. A little bit unexpected, but there you go. This, I think, will become part of a sector. Although, for now, it's our responsibility to maybe do something with it. How about a Frontier Clinic? That sounds lovely. And then, you only have three food tiles. So, yeah, this will probably just go ahead and be a hydroponics farm. That is a lot of society research. Uh, that costs a lot of money. I shouldn't be doing that. I guess I could have canceled the other one. I think we'll be okay, though. Complete. Research complete. Tropical worlds are now ours. 5% habitability is good. Army upkeep's not a huge deal for us right now. Terraforming is fine, but not critical. Yeah, we'll go for the habitability bonus. That will be really, really, really useful. And why don't you come over here and research this debris? Enemy planet secured. Oh, we took the planet. Excellent. We'll leave our armies here to repair for now. And I will actually move my battle group to their capital, as opposed to helping to clean up that system. That's going to be perfectly fine. 45% war score. It's not going to take much more before they uh, give up completely. And I would very much like to colonize. Yeah, it's kind of crap, but it will give us huge control over here. Which seems like a pretty good idea. Oh, and this is where some of our critters are. Uh, yeah, we don't have any idle science ships because sending one to pick up the critters just in case we lose access to this would be awfully nice. We also can get some research over here. There's one research station that will give us both. That's nice. Tech is improving. No, oh, they do have their battle fleet here. 4,400 battle strength. That is not a small thing. I'm going to switch you to passive here. I'd want rather... Oh, are you leaving the system? Okay, well then that's fine. I wonder if we can catch these guys without catching the others. It's possible. They do jump away quite quickly. They seem to be a hyperspace nation. That is very fast. Uh, no! Hyperspace nations don't have to go to the outside. Also, this is a ship so I can scan it. So, no, it's actual warp drive. Okay. What are they using? Ripper auto cannons. Heavier on the shields. They got a scout wing as a utility thing down here. Oh. Wait, what? Is it just the way it's being displayed? Because I'm not seeing hangers under the utility section. It's just the way that it's being displayed. Because I'm seeing hangers under the weapon slots, but not the utility slots. Okay. And if we can catch those, that'd be nice. I suspect we won't. In which case, we'll just go and start bombarding the system. We got our backup over here. Yeah, there's no way. So just go, just go here. And you guys, are you, you seem to be healthy. So I will embark you and get you to enter orbit over here. By the time you get here, this should all be destroyed. All right. Well, I guess we're going to put a cut in here. We are still at 20%, which isn't great. And... You're almost done that colony ship that we're going to use to grab that territory over there. Meanwhile, how are we looking up north? Still not mergeable, I don't think. Let me let me do a check here. Oh, there we go. Nope, we've got that distance. You don't actually need it to be contiguous. It's just got to be just barely close enough. We can't add you. But that saves us another 10% money. We're now making income. And as soon as we get the, a third, the third system in here into our sectors, we're going to be in great shape. So, that's good. And finish this. Awesome. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Stellaris here, and I'll see you guys next time.